The Ohio State-Iowa football games of the mid-1950s were some of the most exciting and competitive in the history of the Big Ten Conference. The Buckeyes were coached by Woody Hayes, who had become Ohio State's head coach in 1951. The Hawkeyes were coached by fiery Forrest Evaschewski, who took over the Hawkeye program in 1952. From 1954 through 1958, the Big Ten Conference had an outright champion, very unusual for five consecutive years to have five consecutive outright champions. Ohio State won three of those, 1954, 55, and 57. The Iowa Hawkeyes won the other two in 1956 and 1958. The Buckeyes 1954 team won the national championship under Woody Hayes with a record of 10-0. Their closest call was at Ohio Stadium against the Iowa Hawkeyes in the midseason game. The Hawkeyes had the ball at the Ohio State five-yard line and could not make another first down, allowing the Buckeyes to escape with a 20-14 win. And that six-point margin of victory was Ohio State's closest call during that 1954 national championship season. In 1955, the game was again at Ohio Stadium. It was Hop Cassidy's last game in the horseshoe. Hop scored three touchdowns that day to lead Ohio State to a very competitive 20-10 win over Iowa. The 56 game was played in Iowa City. It's probably the biggest win in Iowa football history. Ohio State had a 17-game conference winning streak, a record in the conference at that time. The Hawkeyes pulled off the upset that afternoon 6 to nothing with a 19-yard scoring pass from quarterback Kenny Plain to end Jim Gibbons. The Hawkeyes then went on to win the outright title course and went on to win the Rose Bowl, their first ever bowl game, with a 35-19 victory over Oregon State. The game returned to Columbus in 1957. Ohio State was trailing Iowa 13-10 late in the fourth quarter. The Buckeyes then put on a 68-yard march for the winning touchdown to not only claim the outright Big Ten title, but to put them in the Rose Bowl and to claim a national championship. The 1958 game was at Iowa City, and the scoring was unbelievable. It was 7-7, 14-14, 21-21, and 28-28. The Ohio State Buckeyes then scored 10 more points to win that game 38 to 28 to hand the Hawkeyes their only loss of the 1958 season. Iowa then went on to play in the Rose Bowl. They defeated California 38 to 12 and that allowed them to have two Rose Bowl victories in the last three seasons. And that's the way it happened between Ohio State and Iowa during those great seasons of 1954 through 1958. This is Jack Park, and this is just one of the fine stories you'll find in our new book, Buckeye Reflections, Legendary Moments from Ohio State Football. You can pick it up wherever books are sold.